What's up, everybody? For a lot of people, it's spring break right now. I am super excited as a teacher to be on spring break. And so I thought I'd make this video to help you enjoy your spring break a lot more. Number one, do not plan and do not grade. I'm going to give you a moment to close your grade book. Put those tests up that you've been wanting to grade. This is not your time to catch up. This is not your time to get ahead. This is your time to stop, slow down, and relax. It's not called spring extra work. It's called spring break. Tip number two, avoid students at all costs. Look, I know we love our students. I love my students. But during spring break, looking at my students makes me want to puke. I'm just kidding. It makes me think of cool ideas for lesson plans. It makes me think, so think of ways to interact with that student. And if I'm thinking of that, I'm not resting. If you have any interactions with students, make them really, really short and sweet. Let them know that you're on break and frankly, so are they. Number three, go hang out with some non-teacher friends. This might be difficult um, if most of your friends or most of your immediate circle comes from um, your coworkers at school. But I've always found that it's, it's helpful for me to hang out with people who are not in the teaching profession because when teachers get together with teachers, they normally talk about teaching and school and the faculty meeting that could have been an email and the student who can't behave in class and the student who probably shouldn't even be at the school in the first place. So I like to surround myself during break times with people who actually don't teach. Number four, plan a staycation. There's enough hidden gems in almost every city in the United States for you to uh, plan trips around your city, plan events, go do things you've never done in your city. Number five, force yourself to sleep in. You got one week to maximize your rest. You got one week to maximize your fun. You got one week where you don't have to think about school, where you don't have to think about students, you don't have to faculty meeting on Thursday, you, you, you don't have to plan lessons. That can wait until you come back to school. Take the time for you. Get yourself together. And then go back there and be everything for those students. 